hypocrites will not be saved. If you consider yourself a Christian, yet you are a hypocrite, I'm here to tell you, you will not be saved. Now, don't give me this excuse. Oh, no, no, Bishop, I'm saved by faith alone. It doesn't matter because my good works didn't save me and therefore my bad works can't unsave me. It doesn't matter what I do. Listen to me, you're following a lie. You're holding on to the once saved, always saved doctrine, which is clouding your view of the Holy Word of God. I'm going to prove to you from Jesus' own words that if you are a hypocrite, you will not be saved. Listen to Matthew chapter 24. He begins the parable of the faithful manager with verse 42. Therefore, keep watch because you do not know what day your Lord will come. So this parable is given to us, the followers of Jesus Christ. And in the end of the parable of the unfaithful steward, Jesus says to him concerning his final destination in Matthew 24, 51. He will cut him to pieces and assign him a place with the hypocrites where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Where is that unfaithful manager that the Lord put in charge of feeding the flock of God or fleet feeding the servants? But instead of feeding the servants, he began to beat them and he began to get drunk with the drunkards. And what happens to those who consider Jesus their Lord? He says they will be assigned with the place of hypocrites. You know, hypocrites go to the same place as unbelievers. You say, well, give me more proof of that. Well, Luke chapter 12, verse 46, Luke also gives the parable of the unfaithful manager, but he changes the word hypocrites to unbelievers. Listen, Luke 12, 46, it says, he will cut him to pieces and assign him a place with the unbelievers. So Matthew says that this unfaithful manager goes with hypocrites and he's cut into pieces. Luke says he's also cut into pieces, but he's assigned a place with unbelievers. I don't care what you've been taught. If you're a hypocrite, you're not going to heaven. You're going to a place for hypocrites and unbelievers. God will treat you as an unbeliever rather than a believer. Now, instead of trying to argue with me theologically, why don't you just stop being a hypocrite? Isn't that the better answer? Instead of trying to prove that you can be a hypocrite and go to heaven, why don't you stop being a hypocrite? Because I'm here to tell you, hypocrites will not be saved. That's what Jesus says. That's what the word of God teaches. So I urge you, there's still time to repent. Repent and turn to the Lord and start living a life of self-control, holiness, and love for other people.